it is Thursday and I don't know I'm a bit out of it this morning still Kevin has headed off down to Canberra again to do a bit of maintenance on the units and to try and clean the windows but as you guys and he took my mop down too to mop the floor because I noticed I had little dusty footprints <laughs> on the floors so he's going to do that too and so he left early this morning I think he's planning to spend about five hours down there and hopefully back before dark so a long day for him given the fact that I haven't been great the last few days um obviously I was not in a position to go at five o'clock I think I'm feeling a bit better this morning hopefully it continues because I need to get more work done around the house like I didn't get to the vacuuming yesterday and there's so many big dust piles of golden fluff on the floor <laughs> I need to attend to that if nothing else but hopefully I can get a little bit more done as well what else did I want to do I don't know maybe actually clean downstairs would be good I did the bath I did the toilets yesterday uh, did a little bit but not much not as much as I'd hoped and obviously maybe finish those kitchen drawers but we'll just see I'm just gonna kind of potter I think rather than make these grand plans I'll make a little list of things I'd like to do and see about getting to them today but I thought I will yeah this is fingers crossed I continue to feel but keep feeling good or keep feel for better <laughs> And I can do some stuff. I've been up since like 5 or 5.30. So it's still pretty early. It's just 7.30 now. So I'm just making another cup of tea. Which I'm going to enjoy. And then I'll try and get up for my shower. And get dressed. And then get on with some stuff. Because the house needs even maybe a major pickup would be good. Because it's just into the kitchen and lounge room. From where I'm standing here is not too bad. Because I have already done a few things in the kitchen. Put a few pots and pans away and stuff. So the kitchen itself is pretty good. But like the lounge room okay it's not too bad but like toys all over the floor from the dogs and i said to kevin i've kind of had enough of his stuff on that dining table considering he doesn't work on it so i suggested maybe he could put it into christy's room and christy goes, oh, i don't want it in my room i was like she, he goes in there like a half an hour every other week he's not in there very often he doesn't do that very often and i kind of want that dining table cleared off <laughs> so uh there we go that is out today anyway maybe tomorrow he can work on that that's what we really need to get stuck into the garage soon too but probably getting a house another clean would probably be first on the agenda it was good he did put all the stuff back into the spa room yesterday we had a spa last night so it's supposed to rain today but all i can see is beautiful blue skies out there and sunshine i've come up to my bathroom now my shower and yeah, I need to do a bit of a tidy up in here. Um, Kevin needs to take care of that. Oh, I think I was waiting until his car was empty, but I might move it out into the hallway. Get out of this room at least. And honestly, it's going to take me, what, five minutes? Just to put some washing away. That was some stuff I bought up from downstairs. Some hair sticks and nail polish. So again, not very long. So I'm going to tie that up first before I jump into the shower. up put everything away so the only things on the bench besides that little lid down there I don't know what that is I better leave that till Kevin checks that everything else is supposed to be on there I just um well, I've got the moisturizer I've still got to check what that is from Lush and I just leave my um what is it called anti-dandruff lotion spray because that I put on my scalp most days for my psoriasis and the coconut body oil is also out for my psoriasis, which is incredibly bad again at the moment, which I don't understand why, but that's the situation. I've been putting that on morning and night, and it's helped keep help dry out the patches a little bit, but I've still got psoriasis all over my legs. And I don't know if you can notice a little red patch under my eyebrow. Go on there too. And I think that might be... A little lump there. I think that might be another patch coming up. 
Luckily, I don't get too many on my face, I guess. Put the fan back on to get the steam out of the room. Um, yeah, luckily I don't get too many on my face. My elbows are also quite bad at the moment. Look at that elbow. So that, that's what my legs are looking like. But worse. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not a person to, who wants to wear short dresses or short skirts or something because it would be very awkward. I'm kind of at the stage of like, do I need to go to the dermatologist and get some creams or some medications? I really don't want to. And putting the oil on has helped settle the itching. So just holding off a little bit more, trying to just tighten up my diet a little bit more. Wish I knew what it was. Cause the last time when I kind of switched from, when I went to vegan, it cleared up a lot. And then when I went more plant-based vegan, it cleared up a lot. This time around, sort of trying to, I mean, I've been pretty good. Like, so pretty much plant-based vegan. Like I'm having one ice cream a week. Um, just like so good. And psoriasis is really bad and so is my weight. So, <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. menopause is not, front, not fun. I said to Kevin last night, I think he thought I was crazy. That, you know how you often hear like, what advice would you give to your future self? My advice to my future self would be lose weight before you hit menopause. Like if I ate the way I ate now, and wasn't menopausal and on some water because it could be that as much as the menopause it's probably both i'm sure weight would just fall off me because i'm eating so good and not too much <laughs> lots of fruit and veg well not even lots of fruit but lots of vegetables but it's not to be <laughs> it's like and i know they say during menopause you pre-menopause you're a little more likely to gain weight than anything and it's super super hard to lose weight and yeah it is so if you're not reached that stage of life yet and you're dealing with weight issues really try and get a handle on it before you hit it because then it's just so impossible and i don't know if it becomes easier once i've finished who knows what will happen with the symbolta as well mm. but it's frustrating because I know if the rest of my body was normal <laughs> that I would be losing weight. Like most people who do a plant-based diet lose weight easily, happily, fairly quickly. I wouldn't even care if it was slow, but <laughs> I can't even get that going for me. So I've just brought down my empties basket because as you can see it's getting to the overflowing stage so I need to film an empties video soon. Possibly not today, maybe. Maybe today would be a good day actually. Um, and then I've just got my jammies in there, ready for later on, <laughs> when I finish my work for the day. So I tend to bring them down so I don't have to go back upstairs, particularly if I'm not feeling good. Kevin reckons I should store them down here, but I haven't worked out where I should do that yet. <laughs> there goes my phone, because the pockets in these pants aren't the deepest, and yeah. So as I said to you before, this is like... Ugh. I wouldn't mind if you worked on it every day. I could live with it then, I think. I could. I've lived with it for weeks, but it's, um, and he's just really just a pickup of dog toys. Really, that's all there is. King and I's little coat. I think I showed, did I show it the other day? I don't know. That was Rosie's old coat. If I didn't mention it already, I can't remember. And luckily I still had it. Cause like these are worth like probably a hundred dollars these days, I'm guessing. It's a nice, um, it's a brand. Weather beater. And Rosie wore it a bit in winter and then she outgrew it and luckily we kept it and it fits you beautifully, doesn't it? It's your coat now. So I'm just going to store that in the footstool. We put it on at night and for early morning. Since he hasn't got much fluff anymore, help keep him warm and obviously he's got no, much, got no body fat either. And he's, he's really happy in it. Put it in here with the blankets. <laughs> These are all sticky bits. Go on in there. <laughs> Good for him to have to sleep in it when it's getting too cold or anything. And then in a few weeks, you know, his fluff grows, so he probably won't need it anymore. But for now, why he's fluff short, Coda just snuggles up at the bottom of my feet. <laughs> or sleeps in the little bed that he's got on our bed. Or in his other little bed. But, um, tea, oh my tea cup's through there. 
It's time for tea and some breakfast. And why I think I've got it here, I just wanted to show you this little, um, it's a glasses case, because at the moment my sunglasses are just in this, and like I have prescription sunglasses, so they're expensive, and I obviously want to look after them. And I don't know where I got the idea from, to order a little case. Ordered them on Etsy, from this shop, Tootsie. So at least I can leave my sunglasses somewhere safe now. And she uses, what do they call it, repurposed, rescued, repurposed, re-loved vintage fabric. So I thought that was pretty cool, plus being obviously homemade, handmade, handmade they call it. Yeah, so I'm really happy with that. Fits perfectly and that little clasp is really easy. So and it also means that when I take my glasses off and stop for sunglasses, I've got somewhere safe for my normal glasses to go. Much safer than just a little bag. So I've just picked up outside. I have emptied the dishwasher, given the Groodle said breakfast. Well, this Groodle seems to have gone wandered off without eating his breakfast. I never know whether to put milk in or not. <laughs> I don't want to sit here with you while you eat. Can you eat breakfast? And I'm just going to have mine and make my list of things that I want to do today. When I think of it, can anyone recommend like a good duster? I had one, I think it was a Sabco, Sabco brand that I bought from the supermarket and the elastic that held it onto the handle just all stretched out. So that's why I'm just cleaning with a cloth at the moment. But I'd rather like, I used to have feathered, I don't fly lady feather duster, obviously I wouldn't buy feathers anymore. So if anyone's got any like a dusting thing to recommend, I'm just gonna get online and have a look, but in case I Still, I've been fiddling around this for a while, so I thought I'd ask you guys. Yeah, so have you got any recommendations? That would be great. <laughs>
wasn't the most fun. I didn't mind it, but now I've got a headache. I have to have some water anyway, and at least the lounge room's done, and the furniture's vacuumed and dusted. Can't mop, obviously, because Kevin has taken my co-mop down to the apartments to clean, but at least if I can get downstairs done, I can mop tomorrow, or I could get him to mop tomorrow. Because I don't think he's working again tomorrow. I think he's already worked his two days, or more than two days already this week. So hopefully he'll be home tomorrow, and he can help me finish off what I don't get to today. But I'll have a rest now, then I think I'll come and focus on the kitchen. Maybe, or maybe I should just finish off downstairs first, like vacuuming and dusting what I can do. I don't know, I'll have a think about that. <laughs> I do need, I want to go through my fridge and like deal with some of the vegetables that are in there, maybe make some soup with some of them, but have a look what I need to take care of anyway. Uh, I don't think Kevin will be home. Well, he might be home for dinner. He's hoping to get home before dark. Well, if he's home for dinner, we've got a vegetable curry. I think it's a curry <laughs> that's in the freezer. So I might have that with some quinoa or something. And if he's not home, I'm just going to have potatoes. Anyway, I'm going to sit, drink some water. Hopefully my headache will go away a bit. If not, or if it gets worse, I'll just take some Hanadine, I think, because I really want to try and... Um, Get this house clean today, but at least the lounge room's looking a lot better once I get Kevin to move his stuff off the dining table. That'll improve that area as well. That is dumb. See, anyway, I'm, I'm so glad I'm back, like, mentally and somewhat physically <laughs> back in the cleaning, homemaking zone. I feel like I've been pretty out of it this week and for one reason or another haven't wanted to do stuff. Uh, but anyway, it seems to be back. I, I do this all the time. I think once I'm physically capable, I am much more inclined mentally to want to do things. <laughs> but when I, I start to doubt myself and think I'm just being lazy, but I don't think I am because I really do it. Even that, I've got a headache from it, sweating again from it, but I feel happy having done it. So I'm, um, you know, pleased that I did it. All right, go drink some water. <laughs> I am feeling a little bit better. Headache has gone away, so maybe I just needed to drink some water or have a rest, one or the other. So I'm gonna try and I think get in the kitchen. Oh, should I clean? I think I'll try and get in the kitchen and can you hear tapping upstairs? It must be Christy upstairs doing a schoolwork. Um, yeah, I think I'll get in the kitchen. Let's see what I need to do in there. Yeah, so let's go and let's go and do that first. Okay, what's the situation in here? I want to do something with this cauliflower. And I think I've got an older cauliflower and I need to chop up vegetables for the dogs anyway, so yeah. And I can go to the doggies. And cut some carrots up. I'm going to put them into my mushroom bag. That's the lasagna from last night. Needs to get labelled in the freezer. Got some leftovers back there. Check out the state of these and then a bit past it. I'm actually, I end up buying another one. I didn't really need some. Hopefully that's stayed fresh enough in those bags. So I'll chop that up and get rid of the old one. I haven't been using them again. I go through phases with green onion. I use them and then I don't use them. And I just, yeah, I've got some, of course, two tomatoes. And it, <laughs> that one's a bit older, I think. A bit of a clean out. That's our milk from the other day. It's still fine for now. I need to move this custard to the front so Kevin sees that Christy didn't like it. So, didn't get these put away, but they're fine. I can make something with them as well. I'll get them out because I want to do something with them so they don't get wasted. Okay, 
I think everything else is okay. These are the older ones. Let's look around. Oh, let's look around actually. Or maybe they're not the older ones. Oh, these are older ones, but the difference. Okay, so they're the newer ones. It. I'll have a look. A better look. Okay, that's um. Yeah, I think that's everything I needed to do. I'm not going to give a proper clean. I did. Doesn't really look like it, but I did do a proper clean not that long ago. Mm, those eggs are for the doggies because they're older eggs. Well, at least I can start doing something with this lot.
it's a shame that the mop's not here because I could just finish it off and be done or downstairs and then just have to borrow to do upstairs. But it's okay because tomorrow's pretty quick. And I said, I'm going to try and write Kevin into help me. So even if he vacuumed upstairs or something for me, then I can... All I could do is dust, bathroom. Doesn't matter if I don't do the shower screen. It's not desperate anyway. Stairs. So, and mop down here. That's all I've got to do. And I have done my normal cleaning. And so we've got a little bit extra done. We've got the tops up there done. So, still got lots more tops of things to do. But, did some extras. And obviously, we did end up doing the spa room, kind of, or the floor anyway, when I dropped all that cordial everywhere. Um, but yeah, I'm a bit hot and sweaty. I apologize. Some things just don't change with me. Anyway, I'm going to go have my lunch now. Rest up, and then I might try and do some drawers later on because I've got my cleaning done. I might try and do a little bit more decluttering, but I think quarter past 12, so I probably can do that. Well, we'll see. I'll try. And I've still got all my recipes to do <laughs> one day, but to see how I'm going. I also want to work on my photo book a bit today, too, so we'll do something productive this afternoon. I'm just going to go outside and broom the golden, so. Can brush, trim toenails, and maybe foot fluff if it needs done. You've been, you don't need groomed. We're coming out fast, we're going to do some grooming for you goldens. <gasps> yes! <gasps> Before it gets too cold out here. Oh! oh. Frozen options, so he made dinner for us. I'm a good hubby that does not deserve ridicule. I didn't ridicule you. Thank you very much. 